pi there. Recall that in a previous video, given this standard form of a parabola, if we want to obtain its vertex, we can convert this into its vertex form, wherein h and k are the vertex of this parabola. Now what if I tell you that there is a way or a hack to obtain this without conversion? Let's find this out. So let's clear out some space first and move this to the left. And so let's start to derive and understand how this hack works. So let's try and do the typical completing the square on conversion of this general form into its vertex form. So let's apply completing the square out here, specifically on ax squared plus bx. So recall that when we do completing the square, we want the coefficient of the x squared to be um, equal to 1, positive, positive 1. So we factor out a first. So we'll have a times x squared plus b over a times x plus a blank space out here. So we leave the c out here. And so applying completing the square out here, what we do is we focus first on the middle term. So we'll have b over a times x. And then we divide this by 2 times the square root of the first term, which is x. So the x's out here will divide and we'll be left with b over 2a, taking its square, and then we have b over 2a squared. So we, uh, we completed the square already. So we clear out some space. So we clear out some space out here, so we'll have this. And take note that since we add b over 2a squared out here, in fact, a times b over 2a squared, we add that. To retain the original value of the equation, we must subtract a over b over 2a squared out here on the right. So just for formality, we do that and we just denote this one out here, this constant out here as k. So take note of that one and we don't really need this and you'll see later on why we don't need this. So continuing, applying the completing the square out here, we know that we can write this as a times x plus b over 2a squared plus k. So that was obtained by taking the square root of this, this, and copying the sign. Moreover, take note that we can express this one out here as x minus negative b over 2a squared plus k. Observe that this out here is actually already in its vertex form. So you might be wondering, I thought we don't need to convert this anymore or there's no conversion involved well that is just for the derivation observe here that we can use this result out here this negative b over 2a out since we know that this is h or the x coordinate of our vertex so given this to obtain the vertex from the original equation we'll just have so the vertex is given by the point. Again, this is the x coordinate, so we have negative b over 2a, and to obtain the y, we simply plug in this given value out here. So that is, comma, plug in this in here. So that is how we can quickly obtain the vertex given the standard form of a parabola. To understand how this works, we can try out some examples. So starting with the first example. In here, we are given y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Before we solve this one, you can try this one first on your own. Okay. 
Okay, good, so let's start. So to solve this, first take note that we can write this equation as y equals 1 times x squared plus negative 2 times x plus negative 8. So clearly, if we compare this to the standard form of a parabola, 1 out here represents a and negative 2 out here represents b. So given this, we obtain negative b over 2a to be negative times negative 2 over 2 times 1. Simplifying this, first the 2s would cancel out and then negative times negative is positive. So we'll be left with 1. We then use this value and plug it in our original equation. So we'll have y equals 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 8. Observe that this is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 8 or when simplified is negative 9. So combining these two values, we'll obtain the vertex which is given by the point 1, negative 9. And so this out here is the vertex for this parabola. So as you can see, the process is very straightforward. No conversion needed, just taking note of a and b and plugging it into negative b over 2a, obtaining this value and plug it in the original equation to obtain the y coordinate. So let's try out another example. In here, we are given y equals negative x squared minus 4x plus 1. Again, feel free to pause the video if you want to try this one first on your own. Okay, good. So let's start. Again, take note that we can write this as y equals negative 1 times x squared plus negative 4 times x plus 1. So our a out here will be negative 1 and our b out here will be negative 1. So we'll have negative b over 2a to be negative times negative 4 over 2 times negative 1. Observe that the negatives out here would cancel out. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we'll be left with negative 2. Oops. There. Negative. Sorry about that. So we'll be left with negative 2. And then we use this value and plug it in our original equation to obtain y or the y coordinate of the vertex. That is, we'll have y equals negative times negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 plus 1. When we solve for this, take note that this one is equal to negative 4 plus 8 plus 1. And so when this simplified, when this is simplified, we'll obtain 5. So combining these two values, we'll obtain the vertex, which is given by the point negative 2 and 5. So this out here is the answer for this problem. Let's now move on to the last example. In here, we are given y equals 3x squared plus 70. Again, you may pause the video to try this one first on your own. Okay, good. So let's start. So first, take note that we can write this as y equals 3x squared or 3 times x squared plus 0 times x plus 17. Take note that the 0 times x out here was obtained since x out here, the x variable, isn't present. So we know that its coefficient must be 0. So we know that a, a out here is represented by 3 and b out here is represented by 0. So given this, we can obtain negative b over 2a, which is just negative times 0 over 2 times 3. Since we have a 0 present out here, the outcome of the whole expression is just 0. We then use this value and plug it into our original equation to obtain y equals 3 times 0 squared plus 70. The 0 out here would cancel out and we'll be left with 70. Combining these two values, we obtain the vertex, which is given by the point 0, 70. So that here, this out here is the final answer for this. Problem. 
And so that is how we obtain the vertex without any conversion and from the standard form. As you can see, the process is straightforward. The derivation is quite tricky, but upon deriving it, the solving process is now very smooth. So to end this, here's an exercise that you can work on. We are given x equals 2y squared minus 12y plus 7. The thing to note here is that the form is not of the form y equals so let's write y equals ax squared plus bx plus c since this is what we had earlier. This is not the same since what we have out here is x equals ay squared plus by plus c. So how do we do this? Well, the technique remains the same. But take note that upon obtaining negative b over 2a out here, this will serve as the y coordinate. That is, we'll have here negative b over 2a for the vertex. And then for the x coordinate, that is when we plug in the y value out here. Oops. So that is how we answer this exercise. So if you have an answer for that one, you can comment it down below. You may also share your solution if you want. And so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this one. And yeah, feel free to comment down below if you have any suggestions and recommendations for this video, this playlist, and this channel in general. So yeah, that's it and that's all for this video.